And how do you guys do today? It's ACM for short here, and I am bringing you the next part of the Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red walkthrough, which is bringing us to part number 20, the Gym Leader Koga, which is the fifth badge in our adventure in the Kanto region. Now, let me just point off that this gym um, looks pretty simple, but there is an invisible wall to get to the gym leader himself. So you have to find your way, and that's what I'm here for. So, first things first, um, we're just going to battle all these trainers. Now, I have come to the conclusion that I am going to... Um, I think I'm going to do half and half. Sometimes I'll do, like, if the, if the video I want to do is too short, I'll leave the trainers in there fast-forwarded. And if it's something that's too long and I can cram in another part to the video, I will just do, I will completely cancel them out if that makes any sense to you guys. I kind of want to have them in there because I want you guys to bond with my team and I want you guys to know which train, which Pokemon the trainers have and all that stuff. But it kind of is taking up a lot of time, so I don't know. It depends. We'll see. But um, like I said, this gym has, um, is, uh, blah, blah, spit it out, Arrow. <laughs> um, it is themed based off of the poison type and has this giant invisible wall because their you know funding is just outrageous and they can do that kind of thing even though you know I would love to have an invisible wall that'd be the coolest thing ever but that is besides the point um, Koga is actually a ninja supposedly he's based off a of ninja and of course the Pope poison type which for some reason there's a lot of psychic pokemon in this gym for some reason and you know what i just realized i didn't get to battle that guy uh, oh well so um like any other gym leader you want to save right before just in case you die you will like to rage quit now before doing this before talking to him i recommend you guys being level 45 okay 45 his highest level is 43 so here we go, um, my Kingler is 51, he's my lowest level, everybody else is 52, and Meowth is just a whore, so here we are. Fuh ha ha ha, a mere child likes you, dares to challenge me? Oh, very well, I shall show you the true... Oh, he is very fast talking. Poison brings despair the to creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Ha <laughs> ha, I got one line in there. Alright, so he's a ninja. And in the Pokemon manga, I didn't read the manga or anything, I don't like reading, so... Um, I do know that for some reason he was affiliated with Team Rocket in that manga, but don't listen to that crap. He was not with Team Rocket. Just in the manga, he is. In the game series, which is the important part, the game series is what came first, and the game series is the most important part. He is not part of Team Rocket. Don't worry about it. Now, um, his Pokemon are all poison type, and I one-hit KO everything. Now, I decided to go risky with Guillotine and take out Muck, and it gets the hit. Now, Guillotine is always a one-shot kill, but it misses a shitload of times. So, it was risky to do it, and it hit Muck and took him out one hit. I was like, sweet. And so, here comes another Coughing. I killed his first Coughing with one Strength. So, I'm just going to use Strength again and take out the other Coughing. And it works just fine. Now... His last Pokemon is Weezing, level 43, so it's a pretty high level. Um, It's the highest level you've seen so far. You might want to train a little bit. Um, make sure you're level 45, guys. And I decided to go for Guillotine again, and I'm lucky again to hit him again. I'm so happy that it did this. So Koga didn't even get to hit me once. Pretty simple gym battle for me. It might be a little bitchy to you. You might want to grab some antidotes before you go in there. So if he poisons you and stuff, um, you know, so you can get rid of that. Um, okay, so the Soul Badge allows you to use Surf outside battle and a boost the defense of your Pokemon, and he gives you the TM06, which is Toxic. Now, Toxic is probably one of the most useful attacks in all of Pokemon. You can ask Legend, it's my signature move. I have to have someone in my team with Toxic. I love Toxic. It's just the best thing ever. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, it's fun. It, it always seems to work out. But it was a pretty simple gym, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And, you know, I never posted this in the other gym uh, episodes, but if you go talk to these statues and look at them, it says the people who beat this gym, blue, then red. So it shows you that blue is actually a little bit ahead of you. It's kind of funny, because that's what he is, his character is supposed to be. He's always supposed to be ahead of you, and you're always trying to catch up with him. But hopefully you guys enjoyed these Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red walkthrough part 20. We're almost done, and that's pretty much all I can say, alright? I'm out. Peace!